All right, welcome to the tutorial on how to play blackjack. We're gonna start out here with the basics. The basic concept you wanna have as a beginner blackjack player is that you always play against the dealer. The dealer's card is more important than your card. And the best way to learn is by doing. So we're gonna go ahead and start out here. I have no idea how these cards are gonna come out. My right hand here, this is gonna be you. On the left hand here, it's gonna be the dealer. So we're gonna start out. The dealer's gonna deal you a card. The dealer's gonna deal himself a card down. The dealer's gonna deal you a card. The dealer's gonna deal himself a card face up. So in this situation, you have no choice. You can't hit here because you're on 19, and the objective of the game is to get 21. So you're pretty close to 21. If you hit here, you're almost 100% gonna bust because the only card that you can't bust with is a two. But like I said, we always base our decision on what we do based off the dealer's card. If this is the dealer's card, they have a two. A two is a bust card, but it's also known as the dealer's ace. What do I mean by a bust card? Some cards that are showing up are more likely for the dealer to bust on than others. And that's because we always assume that cards that aren't seen, so this card right here, I'm gonna assume it's a face card. So let's see how this plays out here. It is a face card. I did not actually know that. So now the dealer has 12. The dealer has to hit. You stayed, you have 19. So the only thing that can beat you is an eight or a nine. And if he gets a seven, you tie. You got a four. So he has 16. The dealer has to hit on 16. So he has to hit and he busts. So that is 16 plus eight is 24. So the dealer busted on that hand. Play another one and see what happens here. Another face card, it's a good start. That's what you got here. 17, and let's see what the dealer has. A three, so that's technically also another bust card. Um, you have 17. 17 is a hand you almost always want to hold on because if you get a four, three, or two, those are the only cards that you won't bust with. So there's a very high chance of you busting if you hit on this. And we see over here that the dealer has a bust card. So you hold, the dealer doesn't hold. Uh, that's unfortunate. Seven and a three, that's 10. So what we expect here is a 10 and you'll probably lose. Uh, lucky though, and this is 16 again, dealer has to hit on 16, 20 though, so the dealer did end up winning. That's unusual to have uh, four numbers like this, so I would almost guarantee the next card coming out is going to be a face card. So you're, you're one and one right now. 18. All right, and let's see what the dealer has. The dealer has a 10. So this is an interesting case as well here. You have 18. The dealer has 10, you have to hold, and basically at this point you're just hoping that this card isn't also a 10 and that you don't lose because of that. Um, but again, your chances of if you hit here are so high of busting that there's literally no point in hitting here. You want to hope that the dealer doesn't have a high card. So let's see what the dealer has. The dealer has 20. So you're one and two right now. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a good card to have there. The dealer has an eight. And this is a situation where if you really feel like this next card is going to be a face card, you could double up on your bet, whatever your ante is out here. Um, but an eight is an interesting one. I mean, you could easily, if you double up, you can't hit again. So if you get a two here, you're going to be stuck with 13 and you're going to have two times your bet sitting out here that you could lose to against this. And we're going to assume that there's a 10 under here. So he has 18. So no matter what, you're obviously going to hit here because this is seven plus four, which is 11, and you're gonna assume you're gonna get a 10 here, which would bring you to 21. And if you had doubled up there, you'd almost guaranteed win this hand. So let's see what the dealer had. The dealer had 18, so you would have won that hand if you had doubled up or not, as long as you had taken the hit there, you would have won. All right, so now you're two and two. Uh, this is where things get tough. Okay, so this is the situation where I'm talking about you are playing against the dealer. A lot of people feel differently about twos because they do call twos the dealer's ace, but no matter what, you have to know that this is a bust card. So you have 15. Right now we're assuming that the dealer has 12. A lot of people go by their gut feeling here with twos and they'll either hit always on twos or they won't. I would recommend staying with one strategy. I typically won't hit on a two and just stay consistent with that. Um, but it does come down to your gut feeling. So with 15, it's tough because this could easily be a nine under here and they could end up with 21. You just don't know how the cards are gonna play out. If you hold here, there's also a very high chance that the dealer has a 10 here and then this next card, 
and the top of this deck could be a 10 and they'll bust. What I would recommend is not hitting, staying, and letting the dealer's hand play out because 15 is still a pretty high hand and you're most likely gonna bust. And there's that dreaded nine, so we expect a 21 here. 13, all right, and then 22. So they did end up busting on that one. So that's a good round there for you. So now you're three and two and holding on that five there did play out. So that should be face up. So also face up six and five, that's a good opportunity to potentially double up. Uh, now that you see that the dealer has a 10 though, and we have 11 here, I would not double up because the only thing that's gonna beat that, I'm assuming this card that's not showing is a 10. The only thing that'll beat that is if I get a face card. There's a high percentage chance that you're gonna get a face card. It's not as likely that you're gonna beat the 10. So if you might get a nine or an eight, if you get an eight and there's a face card under here, you're gonna lose twice your bet. So I would just hit this and not double up on this. And there we are, we have 18. We're not gonna hit our 18. We're gonna see what the dealer has. The dealer has 20, so you lost that one. All right, so now you're three and three, playing conservative here. Eight, 18, and they have a three. So obviously you're gonna hold, see what the dealer has. We're gonna hope for another 10 here. 19, so that one you actually lost. And you're gonna see, no matter what strategy you stick with, Sometimes you're just gonna get unlucky. There's a lot of strategies to change that luck. Uh, you can try and mix things up. You can switch tables. You can play a little unorthodox. I would recommend staying consistent in one strategy, whatever it is that you pick. All right, so nine. And the dealer has a two shot. This is another situation where you could double up on your ante. Um, if you expect them to bust and you expect to get a 10 here and you have 19, you're most likely gonna beat the two. Personally, because I agree with the case that twos are the dealer's ace, I would not double up on this bet. Okay, so if I didn't double up, I still have the opportunity to hit here. But since we discussed earlier, twos are a bust card, I would probably hold on this, but some people might hit, like I talked about earlier. So I'm gonna hold. Got five, six or 16, seven or 17. Dealers have to hit on a soft 17. And let's see, what do we got here? Six, 11, 12, 13, 14, 24. Sorry, that was a queen there. So the dealer busts on that one and you're four and four right now. So if you kept your same bet out there, you would be exactly even with money right now. Um, and that's just playing conservatively. So I, I'd like to continue these videos and these tutorials on how to play blackjack. At the end of the day, what I'd like to remind you of is that at the end of the day, the game is luck and you can't rely on a strategy to win you money. So don't gamble your rent money and you know, be smart, have a little fun with it. Make sure you know when you're at a casino that that's the point is to have some fun. You'll do a lot better that way. So don't bet money you don't have basically. If you'd like to see more blackjack or gambling tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.